Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to check out two videos. This is a, a double header, uh, a special edition double header since last week that was an absolutely bukkake of music videos, new releases. So we're here to kind of go through... Consume. I, I, was, I was trying to avoid consume, ingest, eat, uh. anything that, that kind of would represent anything along those lines. We're, we're here to process... The bukkake. No, videos. no, process the video... Okay, you, you saved yourself there at the end. Yeah. Process, process the Bukkake of videos. But we're starting off not with one of those videos. We're actually starting off with a Patreon request from this patron right here. I said check out a band called Mile and the name of the song is Crying In Your Sleep, which is something that I do very often when I realize what kind of a shitty year this has been yeah. and that right now I would be in Finland instead of here right now. So, yes, crying in my sleep has been something that I've been doing quite a bit Especially lately. Especially through this August. Definitely through this August. I mean, I think I was holding my tears back. Uh, but then through this August, I just could, I, I couldn't do it. Every yeah. time I look at my phone, uh, and my calendar would pop up that, hey, you know, you're at Summer Breeze. Hey, you're in Finland. Hey, you're here. And no, I'm actually here yeah. doing absolutely this is not big calls. Uh, we're not even having a breeze. It is summer, but there's no breeze there's to no be breeze. had. There's no breeze to be had. All right, so mild crying in your sleep. Patreon request, you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's check this out. Searching 
incredible. You didn't. What, what do you think? I'm blown away. I, I love this guy's voice, dude. Like. It, it, it seems to me that the voice and what I'm watching, they don't go with each other. If I saw, if I heard this song without watching the video, I would say that this is like an old school band, like with a bunch of old timers. Because the voice sounds like from a guy who's like in his 50s. Yeah. I, I a little bit. old timers, because the, the rest of the song, especially... The, oh, it's very modern. It's very right? modern. But when it comes to the vocals, yeah. I, the vocals has an old school feel the to it. The vocals do have an old school, but I love it. I love it too. The guy has an incredible voice. It's just... It goes with the track uh, beautifully. T to me, like I said, if I'm not watching the video, I'm thinking that this guy, like in his in his late 50s, got his grandkids together <laughs> and formed a band. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I saw the guy, it's like, how, how does this young dude sound how, how like... this like, voice? I, I was blown away. I was blown away. Like, what the fuck? But he can, like, he, not only does he have that graspiness, but he can hit those, he can hit those high notes too. But he has both. But I really, he, I really like the raspiness that his voice has. Yeah. It, it it adds such a, such it adds such flavor to to the way the song comes across. But you could also see that he can go beyond that. He can. Like he's very versatile. He has a really nice range to his voice. Wow! I was I was like, what the hell is going on here? And in the, the the that little bridge there where it was just him singing, like yeah. it really showcased. It really showcased the graspiness of his voice and how good he is as a yeah. vocalist. Wow! Did you like the bass? Yes. The the the, the stand. The, the stand. You know what it reminded me of? What? Belzebub. Be yeah. <laughs> with that, low, with the, the low bass. The low, like the crotch, the crotch playing he bass. Using the, using the, the with power stands. With the power stands, yeah. with the crotch playing, like it's, it's like he's tickling his fancy. You know, like he's like playing with with his junk, uh, like to check if there's junk in the trunk. I, you know, I can go on all day yeah. with these, right? So I I, I I saw it. I noticed it. And I was like, woo, a little bit of Belzebub's there. When I noticed it, I'm like, okay, I gotta mention this now. All right, good. I'm glad you did because I, I noticed it when we were watching it, but now that we're talking about the vocalist, I kind of forgot about it. What a great song. Yeah. Wow. A really good surprise. Really good surprise. Like, you know... Uh, did has you like check a... anything before this? No. I, I, I honestly, I saw the request on Patreon. I took down uh, the request. I took down the video. You know, like I always do. I never. It's not like I play like five seconds of the video to see what's no. what, what's happening. So I just downloaded. I didn't check anything about it uh, because it's it's a request from one of our patrons. That's been our patron like for a long so time. Trust. So it, it's it's not like oh you know he just signed up this week and asked us to check out this band. So sometimes those are a little bit not, not that we don't check those, but those Other sometimes are a little bit uh, suspect. Yeah. Uh, because it's, sometimes there's people that want us to check like you know their cousin's video or or whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but those. The, those tend to be a little bit more hit and miss. Yeah. Right. So this one, I was like, ah, he's been our patron for a long time, and trust. You, know, you know, like I, I trust that I trust his judgment. So. Um, oh. So I just put the song on our list to to check it out, and I was like, you're trusting good people. Yeah. Plus the name of the song was kind of interesting. Crying in your sleeves was kind of interesting, but I, I love it. It has a little bit of a hard rock feel, but also a little bit of a metalcore feel to yeah. it. Yeah. It's like those the two metal worlds. It, 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 I never thought I would see those. Those two worlds coming together. Yeah. But don't you feel that way? That it's really hard for me to define like what I'm, genre. I'm so happy that he didn't go with like with the, the metalcore vocals. Oh, I, I, I don't want this guy to ever go. I don't don't ever use harsh vocals don't. on any song. Don't. Just, just. You're perfect just, the way you are. Exactly. Don't change. I'm. You know what? Also, I'm happy. Uh, leading up to the breakdown, they didn't go with one of those. No. Or, or blah. Like they didn't do any of that shit. Because that, that's like. It's so it's, overdone it's, now. It's overdone. Everybody yeah. does that. It's it's not fun anymore. I'm glad that was just it also, like it also. If you don't have those harsh vocals in the song, it doesn't it, fit. Yeah, and this song would be like, why did he do that? I don't. I don't. It just feels out of character. Yeah, this this guy has a amazing incredible, voice. Incredible voice. I'm telling you, if I didn't see the video, if you play this to me, I'm like, what the hell, man? Like, the, the dude got his grandkids to start a band with him because he sounds like. Like in his 60s or something. He sounds like an old timer. Uh, but the sound sounds modern. But his voice sounds dated. Yeah. It's 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 a really interesting combination. But I thought... Amazing combination. The, this song... I, I, I'm, I We need to purchase this on iTunes. Uh, yeah. This song is just... I really like it. It's vibrant. It's fun. A beat. A beat. Especially in the chorus when his vocals kind of... Great vocals. He, he kind of shines a little bit in the chorus. And I'll say this. This is not something that I listen to on a, on a regular basis as far as like heavy music is concerned. Uh, bands with this kind of approach, this is more 
three years ago, I was really into this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like I was listening to a lot of bands that had this kind of similar approach. Bands like Shine Down and and, and whatever. Now I've kind of walked. Out, not that I don't listen to them. I just don't listen to it as as much. As, as much. Uh, but this, I can get behind this. Yeah, his vocals is what sells you. I mean, the yeah. music is is great, but his voice is just so so good. Yeah. So good. All right. On that note, don't go anywhere because from that bukkake from last week, the residues are coming after this. Well, I shouldn't call it residues. That's kind of like a... Mika's going to be pissed at me. Yeah. But anyways, there's another video coming right after. All right, so see you there. See you guys. See you.